guys, how's it going? Um, got this Siemens WM14 S794 GB. Um, today, 60 quid, fully working, just need to clean. Um, I'm trying to keep this. Um, currently on a maintenance wash right now. So it's just cooling down. Um, it's quite grimy, but a few cleans later, it'll be cleaner, it will be spotless. Um, so this machine is quite unique. Um, this is the first generation of the like Bosch Logics. Um, so it doesn't have Vario Perfect, instead it has soil level so we'll have an option um it has stain options um aqua sensor turbidity turbidity i don't know how to say it whatever uh sensor uh yeah it's, it's, it's quite um this is also a childhood machine as well i had a integrated Bosch Logic 7 and um, it had it was made in 2008 this is also made in 2008 so this has basically exact same programming as the one I had hopefully this one it'll be good hopefully this one it will be really good um, but so far I love it honestly this is the inside of it the shocks are a bit worn that's fine. Um, yeah, it's quite, the drawer is fine. They clean the drawer, just not the inside of the drawer. The seal, it's okay. Um, but yeah, so this is the back of it. March 2008. It's update, it's version 10. So it's kind of an update machine. The original ones were, I mean, in 2007 and 2006, but, um, somewhere along there, but yeah, um, yeah, I love it, I don't know, should drain in a minute, um, but yeah. It's great. Uh, these are not gas marks. These are from zippers, scratching the glass. Um, I'm not sure if this machine is quite insane that it jumps, but whatever. But yeah, it's a childhood machine. And I'm so glad to have an actual good one because the other ones were a bit crap. Um, while I'm making this video, I might as well just do a little bit of an update video because some people have questions about my machine and stuff. So, yeah. So, first off, the 4D, which is inside, that's I'm using that as a daily driver right now. Um, it's on basically every day, 10 to 15 loads a week. Um, and I'm always doing like three hour to four hour washes. Um, but I'm going to be getting a new machine, which... I did reveal, there we go, which um, I did say on my community post I was going to get a new machine, um, brand new-ish, depends, brand new-ish um, machine, um, and hopefully the last brand new <laughs> machine I'll ever get because today's market is fucking shit, oh there's some stuff in there. Ew. Oh yeah, that's sludge. Ew. Yeah, so it's a sludge machine. Um, yeah, it's just a good one. Um, the AG dryer, that, that's where I've no problems. Um, this, a lot of people have many questions about this one, why I'm not, why I'm not using it and stuff. Um, the reason because the PCB is actually, it's actually faulty. Um, it's not like a software issue or anything, it's just, the com a component on the PCB, it doesn't work. 
So the PCB needs fixing. Love. Um, so the PCB needs fixing. But once that's fixed and it's cleaned out because there's some more stuff. Um, once it's cleaned out, um, I will use it and I can't wait because it is probably my best machine. Um, this is working fine. I just need to put it back on its two shocks because I need to turn up the one that I'm show you. Um, yeah, this works fine. It's just on one shock. I need to sort that out. This Beko, honestly, is pissing me off. Like, it keeps leaking, no matter what. It keeps leaking. I replaced the drain hose. Um, I replaced the PCB and I replaced the drawer housing and it's leaking. So I don't know what's going on there. I Honestly, it's in the way. Like, I want this to be here. And it's in the way. This is in the way. So I might get rid of it. Just dump it. I can't lie. Um, this. I don't really use this that much. But um, I'm planning to sell it actually. Because I don't really use this. And I look you want a seamless dryer to match this. Because some are actually popping up now. So yeah. Um, this, I don't use this, so I'm assuming it works, as you can see, it's really, really dusty. This, I haven't really used this much, but it's working, working fine. Um, the door seal twisted, as you can see, from unbalanced spins, so it rubbed against the door seal for a bit, but now it's fine. I don't know if you can see, but like, there's bits of rubber. Don't know what that was about, but it's it's fine now. But yeah. Um, this WF860, like my favorite machine ever. I've used this a bit. I think I've used it once <laughs> in the past like two weeks because I've been using Bosch. Um, this is working fine. Working fine, ready for another day. And hop on dry, I haven't used this much either, but it's going strong. I, it's great, great dryer. No problems with it. Um, it's Electrolux. Hmm, this Electrolux is piece of shit. I just experimented with it. Um, it's fucked now. So really fucked now um it is, should be premiering I, don't, I can't remember when but it should be might be premiering tomorrow actually but yeah i modified the shots and i did some jump if you had it um so yeah it's just been outside oh yeah gash marks i don't really share gash marks on that video it has the glass That's another Electrolux integrated off my street. Um, but yeah, that's basically the update. And hope you guys like the new machine because personally, I love it. Um, I also love it. Can't wait to use it. Can't wait for to have literally a Bosch row with a dry on top. I would love that. Can't wait for that. Um, Just rinsing out for some reason this feels really slow so i think i think um i think the nozzles are blocked so i am sort that out um so it's just rinsing i'm gonna cancel this after because yeah yeah i love it um yeah that's the new machine and that's just a little update from me um but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, just thought I'd make this quick video. Um, not really quick, but anyway. Um, just thought I'd make this video and to show my new machine, obviously. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.